Hi, good morning. Today is March 20th. You can hear my cat in the background. Can you see? She's deciding whether she wants to come in the room or not. Um, my daughter's still asleep, so naturally I'm in her room because she, of course, isn't sleeping in her own room. She's sleeping in my room. Today is my scan day. I have to get a nuclear bone scan and a uh, full body CT scan with contrast. I used to get PET scans instead of CT scans and probably people are gonna be like, why aren't you getting PET scans anymore? And I think like the main reason is that when I was on the trial that I was on, they required CT scans as their way of measuring stuff just so that it was uniform across everything. And now my latest scan is a CT scan, so they are gonna do a CT scan again so that they can more easily compare it to the last one. Um, which kind of stinks for me because I don't like these because you have to drink contact contrast instead of just getting injected with dye. Maybe if I get to a place that's like more stable or something, then maybe I can switch back to PET scans. That's what I'm really hoping. Here's the schedule for today. I'm going to the hospital, getting there at 11 o'clock, gonna get injected with the bone scan tracer thingy. Then I'm going to check in for my CT scan. Actually, they'll probably just check me in for everything at once maybe and notify each other, I don't know. Then I'm going to start drinking the drink of the contrast for the T CT scan. And then after an hour of waiting, I'll get the CT scan. And then I, after the CT scan, I should be able to go get the nuclear bone scan. It should be like around the time that I'm allowed to go get that. Um, so hopefully that all works out like that. So it's like the least amount of waiting, but it's still going to be a lot of waiting and it's still gonna be annoying. <laughs> I have to leave in 25 minutes and my daughter's asleep, so I'm gonna have to get her up and get her ready. Um, I think my sister and my mom are gonna be watching her while I do the scan. I am driving there, it's an hour away. Um, usually I, or actually I never have driven more than 25 minutes at a time since my back surgery, so this is the first time I'm doing that, but I really think that I can. Um, it's really crazy the difference that has happened in a few months. Um, in January, I was like dying after being driving for 15 minutes, and now I don't feel like that at all. Even after 25 minutes, I feel like I could keep going, so that's why I'm gonna try this hour drive today. This is my first scan since November 2023 um, that had the mixed result. I am feeling good. I'm feeling like this will be good, but I'm not trying to get my hopes up too high because I felt good before the last scan and it wasn't necessarily good news. It wasn't like bad news, but it wasn't like good news. My tumor markers were down the last time I had an appointment and some other levels were down. So that's why I'm really hoping that things are gonna look good. My pain is just a lot better in general, but also I have flare ups and whenever I sleep in a bed that's not my bed, my back is horrible. So I know my bed is really awesome. My bed is a Tempur-Pedic. I have like the really fancy bed. So when I go sleep other places, it really hurts. I'm not putting too much pressure on this because I feel like if things are a little bit worse, that's still okay because I started this stuff in January and sometimes there can be like kind of a flare up before things start to get better. I have an appointment with my oncologist on Thursday, so tomorrow, to uh, meet with him. Um, getting my regularly scheduled Zoldex and um, the other one called Exgiva injections and just talk to him probably about my scans. If you've been seeing me like wipe the sides because it waters a lot because of the medication that I'm on, it did this last time. One of my eyes is always worse than the other but sometimes it spreads to the other eye. Sometimes it gets like completely swollen and puffy but it's not like that right now. It's just constantly watering and just does that and it's annoying but not the worst side effect. 
Um, I'm not allowed to eat anything six hours prior to the exam, so my CT scan, not the nuclear bone scan, you can actually eat before that one, um, but the CT scan, I'm not supposed to eat anything six hours before, so I haven't eaten anything at all this morning, I haven't eaten anything since last night, I'm only allowed to have clear liquid, so I'm only going to be drinking water. I have to leave in 15 minutes now and I've just been sitting here so I'm going to go get my daughter up because for some reason she's still not awake and it's 9 45. <laughs> Ever since daylight savings I have no idea when she's gonna wake up. Um, okay so yeah I'm gonna go get her up, get her ready, and then we're gonna go. Hey are you gonna wake her up for me? Did she wake you up? Okay, we made it to the car, and I almost forgot to take my medicine, which would have been just, you know, it would have been good for me because then I would have gotten a break from my medicine, but it would have been dumb, so I'm glad I didn't. And yeah, now I've got Baby in the back, and she's got a little book. She loves books, so I've just got books in the diaper bag to just keep giving her when she gets bored with other books. And that's how we do long drives, so closing the garage door and we're off to the hospital. Forgot to mention that we're gonna be listening to the same six Moana songs on repeat because those are all the good Moana songs that I have. And I don't have Shiny because it's annoying and I hate that song. And I don't think that she really likes it either. So we don't have that one, but every time we get in the car, she automatically goes, Moana, Moana. And so that's why we play Moana in the car. Hi, I'm in between stuff right now. I came out to my car because I'm freezing. I'm literally sitting in it in the like warm sun because I just want to thaw. Um, I am also wearing this hat and it's springtime. So there's that too. I brought it with me just in case I got cold and I did. I had to take drink the contrast drink for the CT scan and I'll insert a picture of how massive it is and it also is cold and it makes you cold and ever since then I've been really cold because also when I went to go get the CT scan the room has to be cold because of all the medical equipment they always make all those rooms super cold. I went in, I registered, then I got my injection for my nuclear bone scan the CT people actually picked me up first, actually, and they gave me the drink and they're like, oh, have you had your injection yet? And I was like, no. And they're like, oh, let me take you to Nuke Med. And so I went to Nuke Med after I already had the drink. So they actually gave me the injection while I was still drinking the drink. And then they notified them that I'd finished the drink. And then I waited for an hour. I played my Nintendo Switch for a little bit, which I like literally never, like I barely ever play my Nintendo Switch because I don't have time for it, so I thought, hey, I'll bring it to this because I could bring a book, but I don't like bringing books unless I know I'm going to have time to finish them, and I know I won't have time to finish it, so not bringing, I didn't bring a book. Okay, so for CT scans, you drink contrast, right, before the scan starts, one hour before, and then while you're in the scan, you are injected with some contrast, and that contrast makes me feel like I'm really warm it kind of like feels like things are kind of like burning slightly not like a lot of burning because that would be concerning um and then it makes you feel like you are peeing like it's so weird it's just like a weird experience okay I'm trying to find my car keys I went to go get gas because I just ran out of gas today and that doesn't happen very often because I barely ever drive my car because I make my husband drive everywhere and um, then I went to go to get Chick-fil-A. I said that weird. I got cherry coke and some fries. And so now I'm just gonna sit here and eat that. And I don't think I've turned on, oh, the AC is on feet only. Okay, cause I was gonna say like, there's no way that I haven't turned it on cause otherwise I'd be dying by now, but still trying to thaw out. My toes are still cold, probably because I have it on feet. Let me just turn off the, the AC completely. Wait, what? That just made it come out everywhere. Okay, whatever. I don't know how to work my car. Clearly, I'm gonna try to go in around 2.20 because 2.20 will be two and a half hours since I got the injection. And 
I doubt that they'll be ready for me right at 2.20, but it'll take a little bit because I have to like recheck it and everything. So yeah, still waiting. Okay, I just um, read the results of my CT scan. They just came through and I'm not a doctor and I don't know everything, but they seem pretty good um it looked like the the mass that's in my breast is bigger but everything everywhere else is either smaller or the same size and you can't really tell everything from ct because they're going to be able to figure out more of the bone stuff with the bone scan but they did comment on that bone stuff too and they said similar in size or smaller and lymph node stuff is smaller um, so that's good and yeah I'm just gonna wait until like my doctor reads it obviously and tells me more about it but from what I can understand from the medical speak it seems pretty okay and they were obviously comparing it to my last scan from the end of November so I was <sighs> just hoping that the bone scan goes good and um, that everything looks good from the bone scan Okay, just finished the bone scan and they took like extra pictures of my ribs and the side of my head, which they've never done before, so that doesn't make me feel like super good. Hello. Oh, hello. It is Friday morning um, after my appointment with my oncologist on Thursday. Um, I got my bone scan back. I'm not sure if I updated on that. Um, the bones again looked really good, and um, my oncologist said that everything looked really good on my scans except for the increase in size of the breast lump. He said at my last scan it was measuring 8 mil millimeters, and now it's measuring 17 millimeters. So that's a pretty big increase. So he's thinking of maybe um, doing a lumpectomy for me. Um, but they are going to be discussing it at tumor board today. So I guess I'll know sometime today or next week if um, if I'm going to be getting a lumpectomy to just take out the tumor. Um, because everything everywhere else in the body was looking really good. Everything was smaller or not there or um, I guess like the... He told me that the bone stuff doesn't actually shrink, it just sclerosis happens, and that happened. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like this video if you want, subscribe to my channel if you want, and um, yeah, that's all. Bye. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do? You just tripped a little? It's okay. You want to come up?